everyone. Welcome back to the finale it's of grand final yes, time. Masters of Universalis Season 3. Mm -hmm. And we have, of course, so we have Flurry Worry yes. and Zlevic in yep. the finals. Uh, because they did the best in the five weeks leading up to this. It's been grueling. People have been sweating profusely. They've practiced for way too many hours, but two of them made it all the way here. One uh, of them is still practicing, actually. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's correct. Flurry, where stop streaming and get into Discord <laughs> so we can get this show on the road. Someone go tell him. So here is our uh, leaderboard. So this is after five weeks. We had the Blobber at 0 and 5. Yep. BB. Two, two and three. Uh, BB and Venomite, two and three. Chewy at three and two. And, of course, Slavic and Flurry, where tied at four and one. Yes. And the thing that's interesting to note here in uh, those scores is, of course, that Slevic has lost one game to Flurry. To Flurry. Yep. Flurry has lost one game to Venomite. Venomite proving Just there glorious. that anyone can win if they make it to Monsters of Universal as a duel season four. So speaking of which, hey, let's talk about our wonderful Discord that we have. Mm -hmm. So if you would um, like to be on, on one of our shows... Go ahead and go into our Discord. Make sure that you join. Go and check out our challenges. Complete them. Let me see them in uh, our EU4 channel. And yes. you could be next on one of our one of because, our shows. Because then Lady Magnus afterwards uh, DMs me over Discord and is like, I have, two, I have three or four people that could possibly be. I probably honestly have more than that. Yes. We could probably do a show with just our viewers, really. Realistically, I mean, we have some great, great people on mm -hmm. there. Some of the things that come across that they screenshot to me are actually, it's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I so, mean, if, if you want to, just record the whole thing, um, and then I'll, I'll just watch the end bit. I won't, <laughs> actually, that's not true. I'll, I have several monitors at my desk here at Speed 5, so I can have... Uh, Humble brag. Anyway. Several, yes. <laughs> I, I have several... Monitors. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at our challenges for today now, shall right. we? Yes. So, so it's going to be best out of three, right? Yeah. So uh, they get to pick one. Flory gets to pick one. Zleva gets to pick one. And if it's Ty, our wonderful casters get to pick. So our first one is Big Blue Blob. Yes. Uh, we've seen this before. As Prawns have as many core provinces as possible. So that's one of the uh, five options of challenges they can pick from. Uh, the second challenge that you can pick is uh, Pride of the Dimi. Uh, as a Sunni nation, gather as many separate religions in your nation as possible. Uh, we played this one. Uh, I think we played all of the challenges before. That one hasn't been played for a while, and neither yeah. is this one. As, uh, uh, do you want to read this one? No, you humiliate <laughs> yourself. Okay, thank <laughs> you. As a Nahuatla uh, starting nation passes many reforms as possible, if all reforms are completed, then the in-game date of the final reform is the player score. You may try as many times as you can within 60 minutes. I so would have pronounced it the same way. Uh, it's correct way to pronounce it. <laughs> I also like uh, <laughs> this is uh, so the next challenge is Italian trade. But I just noticed that the uh, the challenge here is uh, currently correct. incorrect. So maybe we can go to uh, the next one <laughs> for now <laughs> uh, and we'll see what we can do here. Uh, this is this is kind of, you know, it's the grand final. Stuff like this happens. Rina Imperius Liri dismantled the HRE as a non HRE state as small as a as a small as small as a as small a state as possible. <laughs> yeah, you can get like the big, the, like the difficult ones and stuff all over the small. <laughs> just here we go. <laughs> Italian trade, the final one. As a Latin nation, maximize the, to uh, the total trade value of Genoa and Venice. Now, uh, last uh, grand final in season two, we had uh, three uh, different challenges uh, yes. uh, to pick from. This time, I felt like, let's keep our players on their toes. Let's give them five so they don't necessarily know which one uh, which one they can grind out and practice a lot. So let's go for five. But of course, at most, we're playing three of them. And I think both of our players want there to be only two challenges. They do. Yeah. Uh, Ultimately, I, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Flurry only wants to and Slavic only wants to. I mean, yes. realistically. Uh, but it'll be interesting uh, to see uh, what player picks what challenge. Yes. Um, and if if they're unfortunate, because I uh, I haven't actually collected the challenges in advance, so I don't know if our I players have decided to both go for Big Blue Blob. If that happens, I'm like, I don't think we should let them run Big Blue Blob twice. 
So uh, no, whoever they need to pick different. They'll whoever's a second then has to pick something else. Uh, but but we d yes. Let's go talk to our our favorite casters. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Hi, okay. favorite casters. How are you doing? Hello. 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 We're good. <laughs> so what are uh, Lade? What are you expecting tonight? Uh, I'm expecting uh, it to go uh, three rounds. I don't think we're going to get a sweep here, personally. I hope not either, because I like watching these guys play. The Red Hawk, do you agree with that? I agree with that for sure. I don't know if exactly we're going to see that, but it is also something I'm hoping for. I hope I, we're going to see three rounds yeah. here. One, one, then down to the wire. I think that would be the first, right? The I, first yes. time? Yeah. Uh, I, it's, I knew, I'm pretty sure it's what the viewers uh, want as well. One of the things uh, I... Uh, so for the for the sake of um, conversation, uh, which one of you? I, I need one of you to be uh, Team Slavic, and I need one of you to be Team Flurry Worry for this. Who's Team Flurry Worry? Uh, should we go? Who is spectating? Because I'm spectating yep, Flurry, exactly. so okay, I'll take well, that. Team Flurry. Okay. okay. So as as the number one uh, Flurry Worry fan, Lee, what Massive challenge? Uh, what uh, what challenge do you think uh, he'll pick? Uh, I think he'll pick uh, either Pride of the Dimmy or Big Blue Blob. I think I think I think Zlevitz going trade every day of the week, so I'd be surprised sure. if uh, if if Flurry decides to play into his hands there. And uh, Red Hawk, as the number one Slavic fan here, uh, would you agree with that uh, assessment? Is Slavic going for trade? Do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think uh, I'm 95% sure here. Zlevitz is going to go with the trade one. Yeah, we we because of course we are. Uh, we have certain Discord channels for, for production's sake where our players are. And there were a lot of rules questions about the uh, Ruina, uh, Imperial Ruin Aceleri, which is the Dismantle HRE one. Do you think, uh, do either of you think we'll actually get to see that? Or is that more of a, uh, a red herring? Uh, I hope so. I think, I think that all the, uh, like both players will have tried all of these challenges. I think they'll definitely have favorites, but I'd be surprised if they haven't prepped something. That one is probably my favorite challenge so we'll see if if we get to see yeah. that one yeah and uh red hawk uh, a question for you because uh, this is something that affects me a lot which is the uh pronunciation meta of the challenges <laughs> do you think we'll, we'll skip some of the challenges because our players are too scared to actually uh pronounce uh the challenge names correctly <laughs> Just a different name. Just use something else. The dismantle HRE one, the trade one, the Nawal one, the Frames one. Easy. That's valid. I mean, I might be fired after ringing a pronounce for the ball. That makes a nice change. You'll just be hosting the rest of the time. No, I'm not, like, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's that's all of the questions uh, I I had for our casters. Do you wanna do you wanna ask them something? They're your favorite casters. They actually. are my favorite casters. I'm gonna miss them. I don't think they'll miss me, but I'll miss them. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk more about our uh, favorite uh, memories um, after after oh. the games are done. Uh, we'll have some we'll have some sad songs or something. I don't know. We'll we'll, like we'll all go around the campfire and sing some kumbaya. Mm. But mm -hmm. let's go talk to our players. <laughs> Hello, Flory. Hello, my friend. You have been practicing. Yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> and the last okay. second. He was. I think he even passed the last second where he was practicing. So, Flurry, how did it, how did your practice runs go? Uh, some went well. Some didn't go so well. So we'll see how things go. And and Slavic, on your end, how you spent uh, the last week when it came it comes to EU four, since you uh, conquered uh, Chewy and uh, secured a place in the final. Well, we only had 24 hours for the challenges. Mm -hmm. So besides uh, besides that, that was very little time to prepare, honestly. Yes, yes. I played for most of the challenges, challenges. once. <laughs> I went two challenges maybe a few times. I know, I noticed last night, Slav, like that you were like, is there a reason why we have like all these picks? Like, Slavic, did you practice every single one or did you just practice like just a handful? Yeah, every single one at least once. Maybe except okay. people blow, just opening moves. <laughs> it's just too boring to play the whole one for an hour. <laughs> and uh, the one that I chose, I practiced like four times. And another one that is like my second choice, uh, three times. Okay. Okay. And what about you, Flory? Did you practice all five? Uh, I did not practice the big blue blob because it's so... It, there's no... Well, there, of I course, there's strategy there, but it's kind of... 
you know, fair. just go. That is totally fair. Um, I'd say I, I practiced three of them. Um, okay. I, okay. Well. Okay. Uh, we are at what my notes say the coin toss. Uh, but luck. before before we get to that, just <laughs> know, whoever whoever comes out on top uh, uh, tonight uh, gets this sent home to them. It's Ooh. it's uh, very heavy. Uh, it's got uh, it's got a place for a name here on the back, which we don't know what name that is yet. We'll we put, don't. If you notice, like there is not a name written in the back. Uh, so uh, the way uh, this best of three is going to work is uh, I'm going to do one of my at this point famous coin tosses, uh, and whoever wins the coin toss. Uh, gets to pick the first challenge. Then when we come back after the challenge, the uh, the other player gets uh, to announce their challenge. And if we get go to a third game, our casters will then announce... And they the, can fight over it. Yes, the final challenge. And they'll do that after the uh, second game. Meaning uh, there's not lo too much uh, time to prepare between the different challenges. This is uh, by design, mainly because me and Count Cristo are mean. Uh, so, uh, uh, Flurry, as the reigning champion, I'm going to let you pick either um, the dragon or the scales on my fantasy coin that I have. Dragon. Dragon, okay. So if we get a dragon, you get to pick. If we get scales, Slevic gets to pick. If it falls on the floor, which is... Or slaps me in the face. Or s slaps Lady <laughs> Magus in the face, I'll, try, ag I'll try again. Okay. <laughs> it's it's dragon. We're going with Flurry's pick first. Flurry, what are you and Slavic playing for uh, game one? Poor Slavic. He's I don't know what he's been practicing. So I, <laughs> it's he's either gonna pick the trade one or he's gonna pick the HRV one. I don't. I'm gonna pick Feathered Serpent. That's okay. the first challenge. Feathered Serpent, first challenge. Uh, let's remind ourselves. Oh no. <laughs> as a. Now, now, who told Starting Nation? Pause as many reforms as possible. If all reforms are completed, then the in game date of the final reform is the player score. You may try as many times as you can within 60 minutes. So that's Flurry's pick, and that's what we're playing first. Um. I I have nothing more to add. I don't either. Nights. Let's go ahead and let them get ready, and we'll handle. Wait, wait, yesterday. wait! Hold oh, on. Oh, oh. What? What? Oh, oh. What's what are we gonna pick? Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! What do you oh, mean? No. No. <laughs> you get to sit there and suffer for an hour. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, okay. So we if 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 we want to play mind games, which is which fine. We do. So just to be clear, the rules. <laughs> As I made them up, <laughs> means that Slevic gets to gets to properly uh, pick uh, his challenge after this first game, after the 60 minutes. However, oh. there is nothing that's stopping Slevic from saying what challenge he's thinking about picking right now. <laughs> and he also, could change his mind. He could change his mind in the next 60 uh. minutes. So, with that in mind, uh, Slevic. Uh, what challenge are you thinking of picking for the second game? Well, Flor, I'm gonna give you a hint. Uh, I've played tomorrow, yesterday the, on the stream, a few times as Oirat. <laughs> okay. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Wait! What? <laughs> the light turns on! <laughs> yeah. Do you have any idea of what they're talking about? No. Nope. I'm lost. Okay. No. Nope. Cool. Uh, oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, guys. All right, let's go. Let's uh, go get ready, and we're gonna hand this over to our casters. <laughs> Good luck. I hate it when they do that and confuse us, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't get know. It, I, but I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Same. Uh, I did not expect for mm -hmm. uh, anyone to actually choose this Nahuatl man. Uh, no. No. But, uh, we look like yeah, idiots now. Yes, we're. Yeah, I guess we're back we're in Mexico. Really bad. And, uh, Look. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, we're just gonna have to deal with it. So, yeah. Also, chat, we've been switched. Right. I'm spectating Flory. <laughs> Late is spectating Slavic. <laughs> should should so we switch our picks then? I'll be a Slavic fanboy. Do you want to be a Flory fanboy? Yeah, I'll be a Flory fanboy. All right. You can go yeah. to Slavic. Yeah, sounds right, good. Perfect, but uh, I don't like Flory yeah, anyway. if our uh, if our players are ready, I think you can uh, go ahead. 
and tell those boys it's to get, to get going. All right, I yeah. will tell them to get going as we enter into the grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Now, do you want to quickly explain the Feathered Serpent and how you can pass reforms? Yeah, so here we are uh, in Flory's point of view. I'm spectating Flory. Obviously, he has started as Aztec. And for this challenge, our players need to pass all the Nahuatl reforms in the shortest amount of time possible. Of course, I expect both of our players to do this. This challenge has been featured before, but this should be a more amped up, um, even more extreme version of what we've previously seen because these are, after all, the best two players of this season right here. So, as Aztec, you want to get five vassals and then... Let them all go and get a reform. Get five more vassals, let them all go. That's how you do it as Aztec Nations. And our players need to unlock all five of these right here in no particular order. Whoever does it first wins. And that's pretty much the challenge for today. What do you think about playing in Mexico, man? What do you think about Nahuatl Nations? I mean, it's it's a lot of fun when you do it casually. Uh, we'll see if the strategy for them is to try and get one good run in and then try and improve on it. Or whether they'll mm -hmm. take the hour and play slowly. Bear in mind... Uh, chat that it is the quickest in-game time for one run that counts so if someone does it yep. um like a year before uh it doesn't matter if, if that was their first run or their third run that mm -hmm. is the run that we take so you can put points on the board so we'll see what's this yeah. one saying late speaking yeah. and they're going to sleep well enjoy well, the rest nice. of the stream buddy <laughs> <laughs> i'm afraid there's a lot of that oh man i mean last time we did see um I can't quite remember who it was, but we did see a lack of conquest. And if you remember from my comments last time, I do want to see, um, as the Aztecs, um, increased amounts of conquest to get that doom higher yeah. because the increased doom that you have, uh, the less aggressive expansion you incur. Um, at which True. point, then, if you can get as many truces as possible, you can then truce break people, uh, cycle the coalitions, and make sure you don't actually get a coalition. So we'll see if they end up yep. taking territories or if they go straight for uh, the reforms. There is a degree of RNG in this because obviously you can vassalize uh, people's. Uh, allies and we do yeah. see an initial war potentially over here for Zlevic. I think this is very smart. This is the war that you want to do initially. There is a uh, a fort here that you want to take out and personally yeah, I wouldn't vassalize these guys or at least very least I'd take this province. You want to yeah, get rid of all the way of the to go here I think is uh to take, you know, two provinces and vassalize them as an OPM. You definitely want to get that capital fort in Tlaxcala right there, but uh the same starting war has happened over on Flory's side as well. Him declaring on those same nations, well, on the same nation that uh, Zlewik declared on. But yeah, that's the same world. Let's go uh, back to Zlewik, as you were saying. It's worth noting um, as well that the last time that these two uh, faced off, it was a matter of, uh, of well, a couple of years maybe, if that, um, when they faced, yeah. off, faced off in the Coptic one and Flory took the lead. So uh, we'll see. I think we're going to see a lot of the same moves from these guys. Uh, EU4 is a game, uh, particularly when, you're, when you have to start as a nation, uh, that lends itself to sort of like a meta strategy and then mm -hmm, uh, at mm -hmm. least at the start and then going on the fly. So I think the same opening moves, I'd be surprised if we see anything different from either one of them. Um, and then from there, as the game develops, we'll start to see a bit more dynamism. But I think For also sure. the, the, the starting ruler uh, is, is quite important here. He's 24. He starts out as a really good general, mm -hmm. uh, I believe. Am I, am I yeah. on that? Yeah, He's I am. He's 3-4-4. 3-4, right. four, four. Four. There you go. You want, the you want first, him to slide. Yep. Let's see. Yeah. And we see a... A failed assault, it looks like, over here, which is a shame. Uh, it oh, does no. not look like... I, maybe he didn't shift consolidate? So what you want to do, chat, when you're... I think he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, when you're assaulting, uh, you want to hold down shift. They click this consolidate button as the siege is ongoing. So then you always have a full strength regiment that is assaulting. So you take way fewer casualties. I'm talking... You probably take, what, five, six, maybe seven times uh, fewer casualties. It does look like a failed assault, unfortunately, there. Yeah. Uh, or if you're like me and can't be bothered to press shift... Then go ahead and eat those casualties up, man. Quantity ideas. <laughs> you can, day, no, man. no. We're displaying the heights of EU4. You can't you can't go ahead and say if you're me, then just play worse. Come on, have pride, That's... man. This is our this is our like our, our swan song. This is you and me as Carl. What do you mean pride? This you is pride of the not demon. This us is the water one. <laughs> <laughs> I said this is our prime. You and me right. are prime. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. The siege is done. It looks like I would I would say that Zlovic is playing for one run and one run only as the... Oh, yeah. there you go. I he think took, these he took guys... the fort that we said. We're right. Yep. Very nice. 
So with that, we can actually, uh, what's low reckoning is where we can go back to Flory. Now, he has pieced out a nation over here. And uh, keep in mind, Chad, I'm a bit desync from him. So uh, not everything that I showcase might be the, exactly the same in his game. But of course, we can jump into his POV directly too and compare. But he has pieced out this one nation over here, the nation of... Uh, well, I'm not even going to try and say that, but they were purple. Go again. And go he's on. just pieced out uh, Tlaxcala as well, taking the Fort Province along with Cholula. Shout out Cholula, by the way. Great hot sauce. And leaving them alive in this <laughs> one province over here. And he has vassalized them. So that's the first vassal for Flory. All right, excellent. Or what year is it in, in Flory's game? In Flory's game, well, let's go to his POV directly because I'm a bit decent, like I said. But the date so is still the same. We, July we 15th. 1446. Oh, what, what is that going on? What's he doing? Seems to be getting ready What's to declare standing? another war. And there he, there we go. He just did. Fighting three nations at this time. Mixtec, Totonac, and uh, another one. Well, I'm not going to try and say that. You know, the light blue one right there that he's walking into right now. But, mate, this is our job. You have to try and pronounce it. All right. Well, Matlat. Zinka. I think Mat that was perfect, like a native. Yeah. Wow. You sure you weren't born in Mexico? <sighs> you know, Moctezuma the second is actually my uh second cousin's uncle. So <laughs> Wow, that is that is an old, old family. Nice. Yep. Right, well, if we flip over to my POV, uh, I can take you through what's been going on over here. We have another war declared a little bit earlier. Uh definitely handled. There are no troops left around here. I'd be surprised to see him uh, uh, not take more provinces. I would assume he'd take one province here, maybe even two. Uh, this yeah. province can be quite useful. Uh, you do want to expand. You do want to take provinces here, not just oh, absolutely. like we said at the start. Um, I think that was a mistake made the last time that we saw this played, uh, was the lack of expansion. Because Doom, trust yeah. me, you can handle that. If it goes up to 90, yeah. you, can, you can handle that. It scales with your development yeah. uh, for, for context. Um, yeah. And so he gave back Tlaxcala. High Doom, good, chat. Unless it's 100, then it's not good. Why did he give back Tlaxcala? Well, is that nation his vassal? Yeah. But he could have just kept yeah, it. He... There's no reason to give it back. Yeah, he should have kept it, least, in my opinion. Or at the very least, gotten rid of the fort. Yeah, do we hmm. see the first potential mistake from Zlarek right here, ladies and gentlemen? Huge misplay. Can I get it? Retire. End it. End it now. One of the classic do beginner mistakes mistake? right here. One of the classic. If, 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 if this was us right now, we'd already done it. 40, wait, August yeah. 1446. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to like the fact we have no idea what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is why they're going to get rid of us, man. Someone, oh, let's see what I hope not. Here. Someone in chat says, <laughs> looked like a misclick judging from his face reaction. Did you catch that? I didn't exactly catch the look on I his face, but. Uh, yeah. Interesting, it's it's Levick. He doesn't really show his emotions on his face. It's like a very slight Ice eyebrow. Ice in veins. Really? Right are. now, chat. They're a lot less uh, expressive than you'd expect in the sort of high-stakes yeah. situation. I, I remember, I mean, my face was all over the place when I played the final. All right, we'll, well what see. What happened in that final when you played? And we were getting on so well, <laughs> you and me. It we were having a great time. We were just bantering about. <laughs> We're about to lose Let's go to Flory right, real so... quick. He's pieced out this uh, <laughs> nation that I tried to pronounce, Matla Zinka or whatever. Taking these three provinces from them, so not vassalizing them. Maybe he's just going to release them straight up so they're not mad yeah. at him. And uh, still fighting Mixtec and Totonac, which are uh, these two nations right here. Now, of course, we are going to have to see what happens over there. Is he going to full annex both of these? You know, is he going to vassalize them or something like that? Not a lot of troops right here. And there we go, there's another war declaration just now on Teotitlan, Itza, and Zapotec, which are nations, uh, well, some of them are down here, and then we got one over here. This isn't even an Aztec nation, it's a Mayan one. There is a difference, chat. But, uh, Glad you yeah. pointed it out. Those, yeah, those if you wars... let over to my POV, I can take you through what's going on uh, on the Soviet side, as I feel like he... he's feeling the pressure, needs to speed up a little bit, declares two wars, he's up against three nations, uh, which is mildly inefficient. This this um, this challenge is a bit of a uh, a bit of a pain uh, if you're the player. It's great for us uh, because inefficiency <laughs> is the enemy here. You want to have 
the perfect run where you only want to be at war with the exact amount of people that you can vassalize uh, to True. then be able to pass the uh, reforms and not have to deal with uh, things such as truces and that sort of stuff. So here we see yep. he's at war with two people here, one here, so that's one inefficient uh, participant, shall we say, that you have to fight regardless and you're not going to get anything out of it. Uh, so it's, 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 yeah, it's a massive paper. We do see a different strategy, so what I want to point out. He doesn't seem to be taking any other um, provinces right now. He's focusing purely mm -hmm. on uh, the vassals, which was, uh, well, we thought it was a misplay. Um, in terms of the last, uh, the last run, we think it, it lost yeah. uh, the last participants their game. So we'll see, maybe Zlovic has something else up his sleeve to make up the difference. It does appear Flory has been listening uh, to the previous season. Uh, going back, rewatching game footage to know what the uh, strat is from us. Which I think is a really interesting, actually genuinely a really interesting part of this, is that these challenges, they can go back and see what was what was good and what was, uh, yeah. what was bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming for, sure. for the trade one, uh, I'm assuming that Zlevik will have gone back and, and watched my dominant performance and it's probably going to copy exactly what I did. So Wait, you already did that one? Yeah, season one. It was my, first, oh, it was my yeah? debut. Yeah. Your debut, huh? Yeah. All right, all right. I put my well. name on the map because everyone, no one took me seriously before that. Now they do. Mm. Now look Let's at me hope now. Zlovic didn't actually watch that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you know. It does he, seem he like this war is, is what not to do. Good. You know. All right. Well, I. I no. <laughs> you, if we got a problem, do you want to send me a DM? We've got something to work out, you and me. As I said, you're lashing out because it's the last last episode in the season. Listen, you feel a little bit forlorn. This is how I express sadness and anger. All right. <laughs> Lash out at me. All right, understandable. Well, we do see this war basically done over on this end. I assume he's going to vassalize this lot. Uh, he could take the provinces, which, in my opinion, would be better. So, if I'm Zlevik, oh, that is a nasty battle to take. Mm. If I'm Zlevik, so there's mountains point, here in uh, Mexico, man. Yeah, it's horrible. It's really horrible. Um, I personally would be full annex. Okay, what did he do? He vassalized them. Okay. He should annex what, like this, oh. Yeah, he should definitely annex these guys, in my opinion. Annex these guys and then vassalize the other ones. So then he'll have his five, uh, his fifth mm -hmm. vassal that he can use to then uh, do the reform. He already has one stability, yeah. so he just needs to be at peace and have that vassal. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. And that gets rid of a player on the board, especially with this fort in the way. Um, but this is not the best of situations. A few loans. Uh, Slovak is getting yeah. ready to peace out. Let's go to um, Flory mm. real quick. He has ended some wars, taking uh, provinces even down here, disconnected from himself. Of course, uh, he does have a vassal in the mix. And now Flory is up to four vassals as well. He already peaced out in the previous war. Just Teotitlan and Tlapanek, uh, the final two nations left that he has to defeat, which are these guys right here and these guys over here. So presumably he annexes one of them, vassalizes the other one, you know. And there we go. And he's already at two stab, so he can definitely pass reform as soon as uh, that's all done. But lots of rebels right here. Some weird setup going on with uh, Flory's armies, of course, in my game right here. That's not actually how they look like. This is how they actually look like. You know, because like I said, we're a bit decent. But, you know, we, we still got the same provinces from my point of view as well. As we can see, uh, Flory taking some events and sieging down the nation of Tlapanek. Lots of generals, just want to address too. Some, someone said uh, in, in chat, can, Laith, can you explain why all of chat is flaming you? One of two options. Either it's jealousy or valid criticism. Either way, I'm not listening to it. So, it's okay. We're all, we're all good. We move forward. So, you're DC'd with Flory, right? Yep, I am. Okay, so eventually the game will crash. So, right now, Flory, yep. that, that does not, in, to, to be clear, chat, that doesn't inhibit Flory's gameplay at all. Um, yeah. But at some point, his game will probably crash, at which point I need to make sure I can... Uh, adequately uh, tell uh, Zlevik that yeah. uh, we need to pause. So we're going to have and a bit of course, more involved. No time is going to be wasted or anything like that. You know, we got this Never. on lock. The technology is we're actually here. pretty good at it. Unironically. Yeah. With, yeah. yeah. Although pretty we see at, a, uh, a crucial restoring. mistake on both sides, mate. What? See what I'm seeing? Look at the, look at the merchants. The merchants. We've got a free merchant over here. Free merchant over there. That's, that's another 0.02 ducats a month they could be squeezing out their economies. And honestly, I'm, I'm saddened to see these low-level plays in the final. Well, you see, if you actually knew this, you wouldn't be making this beginner blunder. But uh, you can't send that other merchant anywhere. He can't reach anything. Can he not? I'm pretty sure he can nope. in my game. 
Where? But we do see the first reform, more importantly. He's taking Ooh. discipline. Very, very good idea. But here's the very thing. Good. When you don't take land, you're back to your starting uh, position, which I think should True. be fine for him. But he is... He Actually, he's not hemorrhaging money. Should be okay. Uh, as the Aztecs, of course, you do start with three gold mines, which is why mm -hmm. the Aztecs are sort of the preeminent power in this region. I just yeah. want to show... Mate, not that you can take advantage of the gold mines until you reform, you but, you know, but in a regular game, by the time you reform... You'll have all the gold mines probably also devved up as well, and you'll immediately start raking in that dough. But yeah, speaking of the merchant, maybe Zlovic can reach him because uh, he has a northern coastline? No, he can't, he can't, he can't. I was, I was lying to you. He can't. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we see a free diplomat here, though. Oh, classic mistake. Another beginner <laughs> mistake right there. <laughs> Massive beginner mistake. God, I'm lashing out that's, too, man. I'm sad as that's well. That's up there with, the, with the declaring with humiliation and a free diplomat, man. And of course, not taking uh, the fort and Lux Call. Those are the three, uh, I feel like. Massive blunders. Someone tweeted that. We do see a, uh, a war here against three individuals. He can take land uh, from one of them. Uh, and actually, you can take, yeah, you can take land from two of them, in fact. Uh, probably, again, at the very least, leave them as one province miners and then, uh, and then vassalize them. You know, take the other land. There is no downside, in my opinion, unless you're trying to avoid rebels, which we'll see if that bothers um, uh, Flory, uh, that it, like, there's no downside to taking these provinces and then leaving one and vassalizing. Because again, it leaves uh, less of a threat later on. If you want a truce break and attack them, uh, just get those forts out of the way is the key part, in my yeah. opinion. For sure. I'm now getting roasted by the Speed5 official Twitch account. Okay. All right. I see, I well, see how it is. I see I'm not wanted. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, uh, chat, if you think you can do have, uh... better, you can prove it. Yeah. Join the Discord. How? There you Participate go. in these challenges. For that. And maybe you can compete in the next season of Masters of Universalis. Maybe you can beat Flory, the current Master of Universalis. Maybe a back to back one. Maybe just a one time one if Slavic wins. But you can go ahead and try and beat these guys, man. Participate in these challenges. Post them in the Discord. And who knows? Maybe you'll get invited. Do you think we'd get a plaque, you and me, for being casters? Uh, a Cause, plaque? Cause, Who's getting cause, a plaque? Yeah. We, do you see that? They got on the, the thing. They, they're going to write the name on the back and ship it out to them for, oh, for winning. Oh, they, they did. They did. Yeah. Well, listen, so I do don't you think know we, if... Uh, do, do we get one? I mean, I hope. I should get one at least for the amount of times I restarted when I expected a Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did really well. Yeah, <laughs> the amount of restart. Oh, and there we go. We have a crash. You can go ahead and uh, tell Slavic to pause immediately. Okay. I'm fine with him. Yep. I'm fine with him still. <laughs> there we go. No, Slavic, stop. Pause. I'll go ahead and let him know. I feel like I feel like there we go. I think I think I think you understood. Yep. Yep. be fair, that wasn't as bad as fun with Flory. Fun with Flory, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was miserable. I'm glad I didn't have to do that. But <laughs> the yeah, dude, just the dude does not like it. Right, well, <laughs> let me give you a little bit of an overview, uh, chat, whilst uh, Red Hawk gets Flory sorted. Yeah. Right now, we have, uh, the year is 1450. We have one reform done um, and no manpower uh, left. So we're going to have to see some heavy use of mercenaries going forwards, in my opinion. Uh, with the gold mines, that's not too much of an issue. In my opinion... Uh, we, we should see some conquests, especially on the second time around in terms of doom. Uh, the more reforms that you take, uh, the less doom that you get. Uh, but again, I think you can definitely uh, get doomed down uh, very easily. That's happened. That happens in terms of your subject interactions. You can do that in terms of uh, winning battles even. So it's not something that should be scared of. And in fact, high doom is quite useful. Uh, if I show you here, he's got Doom of 12, which gives him technology cost, idea cost, and aggressive expansion uh, impact reduction. That key part being the aggressive expansion uh, reduction. Um, so, yeah, I, I would like and to see Zlevic take some Pause the timer here. as well, please, and run it back like two minutes to 42 minutes. Pause it at like 42 minutes. That would be excellent. Sorry for interrupting. So, right yeah. There. I can't believe you've done that to save the game. But you can tech, get tech pretty easy. Uh, over uh, the rest of the natives over here. If you can get tech, uh, tech 2, we even saw Tech 3, I believe, last time, uh, then, yeah, you're in a really good position. I'm just going to show off these states over here. And not too concerned, the crown land, 
we see obviously the Berg loans and Petri of the Arts. Prestige, if you didn't know, chat, uh, higher prestige gives you higher morale, which is quite good. As, um, also, it gives you aggressive expansion, uh, impact reduction, which is going to be useful in the starting uh, sort of era. So, I think time is still going. That's fine. We'll roll it back. Uh, in terms, oh, he's got a uh, decent two siege generals. That's pretty uh, pretty handy as well. If you look at also Aztec ideas, you do start with ten percent infantry combat ability. There is, if you're looking to play in this region, Aztec is always is always the most fun. I've never played as anything else in, in Mexico other than that. So there is uh, <laughs> there is that to the, be said. The Mayan missions are really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find them more interesting than the Aztec guys. Than at Aztec? least it's easier for me to you know do those reforms. I've played as like the Chu or Chu or Xu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Xu? Xu? I don't know how the Mexicans pronounce or the you know the natives uh, pronounce that. Xu? I don't know. Why didn't I say I played as it? So I'm not easy to pronounce. <laughs> but that's fine. Oh god. Yeah, the mine reforms are a little bit different. Uh, in fact, why don't we go and have a look at Europe in the meantime? So 1450, yeah, what's, what's happened Europe? over here? Uh the Ottomans have taken out the Byzantines, standard. Tunis has well, Algiers is a thing. That's nice. Dude's having a good game, most importantly. Uh, we've got Danish Russia up here. England not having a good time. Uh, it looks like Throne of Maine fired and they gave away Maine. Let's have a look. Anything else? <laughs> to be fair, it's only been six years in the game. Chat, I want you to put your predictions uh, right now to see what year you think uh, both of our guys will be done by. Or at least what you think is a reasonable uh, yeah, bear in mind it's been six years for one reform, but these things should snowball. It should start to get easier now. Uh, hypothetically, though, it might not for Zlevic because, again, he didn't take any more territory. 1459, 4045, well, that would be impossible considering um, it's, it's 1450 now. Yeah, we'll sort out the time in a sec, chaps. Don't worry. 1460. 2023. You think, you think, 1730. You think you get to 1730 in an hour? No. 1460, I think, is is potentially reasonable. Uh, like I said, you get this 5% discipline, which is pretty good. The colonist is useless for this. I personally, the next one, would go for uh, civilian cost modifier. Because you really don't... Well, it depends if you're core in provinces. But you really don't want to be sitting here delayed by a couple of months. Because you need to wait for that little bit extra uh, stability. Plus, having more stability means you can take loans at a better interest rate. I show off that here. I show off my, my game knowledge now. This interest rate, obviously this is um, from the estate, so it doesn't matter. But if I were to take mm -hmm. something here, you can see that interest per annum is four. If you have negative stability, that increases the amount of interest that you owe, which is bad. You want low interest, of course. What reform did Flory get? Did Flory, has Flory done? Well, 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 we'll we'll figure that out when, yeah, yeah, we'll when get we to rejoin that soon, Chad. the game. <laughs> Sorry for the delay nice right little here. Hiatus, yeah. Good job entertaining the audience while we are uh, literally my job, mate. Let's have a look. One second. I'm just trying to check out his advisors. He's got a discipline guy. He's got three out of two leaders, which is curious. Why would you couldn't hold three out of two leaders? I suppose this one's a three shock and he's got two siege generals. Hmm. I don't know that, that this three shock is worth it. Because you don't have that many armies. You just have one combat stack and the other guys can siege. Uh, but that is useful. I just don't know if it's worth the extra military. Uh, he's got a military from here and a administrative power from here. His army's going to be pretty good. Yeah, 112.5% discipline six years after the game because you also get the Sumptuary Laws, uh, which give another 2.5%, which is pretty good. Why is the game paused? Uh, because Flory uh, crashed because of a desync and we're just getting it up and running. All right, now I am back in Flory's game so we can uh, roll the timer back to 42 minutes once again. And after that is done, we can go ahead and let our players unpause or we can unpause for them. So uh, yeah, sorry for that little delay well, me, right there, me... chat. We're ready then. Let we get going. Uh, you know, the nature of the work right here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna see if Slavikon pauses. I'll give him like a couple of seconds, and then I'll like. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Go on. So our Do players. Uh, there we go. Okay. You've seen. Excellent. And we're back up and running with 40 minutes left on the clock. A third of the time gone. One reform done in this game. How many reforms in your game? And there we go. We can actually now see uh, properly what Flory's game is looking like right here. He is at uh, two vassals right now. He did get one reform first, the stab discount. So a different first reform to Zlavik. Zlavik shows the discipline. Flory going with a minus 20% stab cost, popping up with an event right here. And he is already back up to two vassals, the nations of uh, Tlaponic and Zapotec right here. Also getting coalition, but, uh, you know, chat, 
coalitions shouldn't really be a problem in this region right here especially for seasoned players like we have today like flory and Slavic. but yeah date is july 1451 in flory's game no manpower no money high war exhaustion but as we all know high war exhaustion good so uh let's see how this progresses as we go back to Slavic. Well, Zlevik is just finishing up this war uh, over here. Like I said, I would personally like to see him take land. That would be my strategy. Of course, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not in the game right now, and Zlevik has proven himself to be quite the competitor, losing only to Flory yep. very narrowly, and otherwise going undefeated. So we'll see how he gets on here. He has fully controlled them. He could just peace out. You don't need to siege it. But he's going to siege it nonetheless. Let's see. What do you reckon? Do you think he's going to do a peace deal where he takes land, or do you think he's just going to pure vassal it? I think, uh, I mean, you know, maybe the, his strategy to only vassalize was only valid for up to the first reform. Maybe now he's going to be taking land. Maybe he's going to continuing with it. Uh, still no real pattern, mm -hmm. but uh, let's see once he wraps up these wars. Here we go. Well, uh, he one vassal go for land this time. That was one he had to vassalize. He couldn't take mm -hmm. any land. Let's mm -hmm. see if he takes land when yeah. he needs to. Definitely a slow and steady attempt here. He's aware of the time. I think we're only going to see one run from both of these. There yes, we go. He has taken land, taken two provinces mm -hmm. in the south here. And then immediately coring. Good provinces right, too. One of them on produces here? gems. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we see pure vassalization. Now, the interesting thing here, and I was hoping to see something like this. This is good. If you can, if you can do it properly, uh, obviously this is RNG dependent, but if you vassalize them whilst they're in a war, you become the defender in that war, and then you can fight them on their own. So he has two individual mm -hmm, wars mm -hmm. here to fight, which is good. I personally, I think, would take land from Totonac and vassalize mixed deck and then be on my merry way. But we do see the second reform on the horizon. Already has that one stability there up and running. Let's see. These two siege generals are, are going to be coming in useful. Yeah, very useful. But so far, very useful. aside from that one mis misclick, and I assume it's a misclick, we'll, uh, I'd, I'd love to hear from, uh, from Zevik if that was in fact a misclick. Yeah, uh, the host but no coalitions, and anything like that. Him. Oh, actually, I'm so sorry. I've lied to you. But there, because there is one individual in a coalition. Mm. Coalitions in both of our players' games. Interesting. Did it's you expect one to guy, see coalitions? So it's, it's not really a coalition. Oh yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I think, especially later on, if you want to get a really good time in this uh, in this run, you you need to be pushing your nation to the absolute limit. We've seen uh, players like Blobber have uh, have navigated that line a bit too close. I think he went bankrupt in every single one of his uh, challenges. Which, in my opinion. <laughs> is a good sign because it means he was he was pushing the entire time obviously went yeah. a bit too far but i think if you're not fully utilizing all of the resources your country has then you could inevitably be uh register a better time and you'll regret it later on so we yeah, shall sure. see see this is the state agenda is actually really useful because you get ducats and uh through just improving it so you can convert diplo power straight into ducats right I'm curious. What do you think? Do you think he takes land here? You think he's going to do uh, I think what he I should think he's going to take land do? right there as well, yeah. Because the, the, the key part here as well, uh, chat, it's you get Flower War Casters Belli, which is uh, this right here, which gives you uh, the ability to... Well, I suppose you could vassalize with the normal one, but either way, it gives you a Casters Belli. And you have to be bordering someone else to be able to have that activate. So having yeah, one or two promises touch a lot of different two. nations, yeah. I think that's a I think that's a good plan. That's why a person would take all of these because then you can border mm -hmm. this guy up here and this guy down here, which is important when it comes to truces and especially navigating alliances. Yeah. Uh, I also see the way personally. Mm -hmm, go for it. The way I usually do these, and of course, you know, I'm obviously not as good as Lovick or Flory, but the way I do it is leave everyone alive as an OPM, right? Take as much as you can from mm -hmm. them, land. Leave them as an OPM, vassalize them. Later, when you release them, they're still OPMs, of course, unless they fought someone else. Makes the wars easier, too. So, uh, yeah, obviously, may maybe that's not the strat to go, and maybe that would be the case in a regular game. But, uh, Chad, this is anything but a regular game. There we go. We see another. He didn't, in fact, take land, but he does take this political modifier as it's up to two reforms done. Uh, I was going to say, a strategy that I toyed with uh, when I was just looking at this... Oh. Nice. Straight in against the, the coalition. Uh, well, the nation, the coalition. Actually, that's really useful because he can vassalize all of these guys in this one war. This is a huge war for him. Very, very kind of uh, Otomi to gather up all of these vassals for him. Yeah, what I was going to say yeah. was, <clears throat> if you can get hold of a small nation like we saw previously and just hold them down so they don't have any other allies, other nations will typically declare war on them. 
uh, and then you have an easy war yourself. So I personally yeah. would get one guy that I know I can vassalize, stay in the war mm -hmm. the entire time, go and do my other stuff, and then hope that someone else declares war on him. And it's just, yeah. in my yeah, opinion, yeah. the challenge is all about putting out feelings. So we shall yeah. have to see. For sure. Don't want to reduce the OPMs because then your Doom skyrockets. Doom is not as scary as you think. It really is not as scary as you think. If you want to flip to Flory's game, yeah, flip to Flory's yeah, game and, and, and you can see here. the amount of territory he has. Yeah. So Flory has grown a bit himself, giving up some provinces right here, actually, that he took from Zapotec earlier, taking these two down here. Of course, this is to, you know, um, have the ability to declare on other nations too, not just nations that he borders up here. Currently, he is at three vassals. And what is the date in Zlewig's game? Currently 1453. Man. 1453 so the same date in uh so the same year in flory's game but uh Zlawik has already passed two reforms whereas flory he's still only at one and we can go to his pov directly and see how he's getting on with that obviously getting ready to peace out some nations over here in the yucatan peninsula fighting uh various nations such as uh well, actually, fighting one, two, three, four, five, six nations at the same time, him and two of his vassals. Pretty much all of these nations that you're seeing down here, he is fighting. Most of them he's already sieged, of course. This is going to be a super easy war, even though there's so many nations. By the way, but I yeah, did like someone... find out um, last what time when I, uh, when I texted Flory that what he's bobbing to is uh, Nightcore. So in case you're wondering, that's, that's what he's listening to. Apparently it makes him play faster. Well, there you go, chat. If you want to play like Flory, <laughs> listen to whatever Leith just said. <laughs> Massive battle right there in the province of Ah Kanul, a dub by Flory, of course. We're also receiving reports that Aztec is in fact green. Ah, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Mate, we're gonna get yeah. we're gonna get clowned on for the rest of our lives with that green fiasco. Papal state. But green. listen, it was important research, right? It needed to be done. We needed to find out what <laughs> if not the us. Is. We were brave enough to push out the boat with the scientific community. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who would have done this? Oh, you know, they man. say some experiments aren't ethical, and maybe this one wasn't either. But uh, isn't it for the greater good, chat? Isn't it for the greater good? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh man. Right. Well, uh, in my game, we see a dominant uh, performance in this war. If you want to flip over uh, to my POV, uh, and we should see, at least in my opinion. Uh, Aztec vassals all around. I don't see once he takes these two, the options would will be available, and he should be able to take them as a vassal. Uh, let's see here. So that should be one, two, three, four vassals potentially in this one war, which is very useful. Where is he going to get the last one from? He didn't take land from these two. Mm -hmm. That's very useful. Uh, chat also wants to point out that uh, well, you need your doom under fifty to uh, to pass the reforms. Yeah, that's 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 yep. fine. You you can get doom down uh, rather easily. Plus, I'd be surprised if your doom climbs above fifty. Um, you just want the higher doom, in my opinion, for that little bit of an edge. Um, so there is there is that. But we do get the hundred percent here, and let's see what he's going to get out of it. He can. We can't actually get. Oh, dude, he's like six percent off what? of getting um, another vassal. All of them. You can only take oh, three. No. Well, well technically, sucks. what he can do is. Uh, if let me see here, he has to take one as a vassal because it's a flower laws, uh, Caspelli. Mm -hmm. And then he can annex, fully annex one of them and take the other two if he wants to take land, and that should give him three vassals. Yeah. Um, he can also release some then, if he takes their land, right? Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's actually an interesting uh, point you make. Oh, we do see a we defense know is facing out. Uh... We gotta go over to that POV quickly because he has taken quite a lot of land down here in the um, in the Mayan guys' provinces. We can see just one nation left to peace out, actually two Tzotzil and Kokomes right here. But he is at four vassals right now, so taking land from one, vassalizing the other probably as soon as he gets this fort up here in Sotuta. And after that, he'll be at five vassals as well, and uh, he'll be able to pass his second reform, which I'm really interested in seeing um, which one he goes for. Discipline, I you think? I, well, the interesting thing about these two uh, different strategies is that I think that mm -hmm. Zlevitz is going to get the edge early because he's, he's purely prioritizing vassalizations. However, <laughs> Flory's investing in the um, in his like power base and being more powerful. Flory's yeah, yeah. Flory is now at the point where he could probably fight every other nation on the map, 
um, and be fine. So I would assume mm -hmm. that he might do one of two things. Either he uses that power base to truce break and constantly go after people, which might be a bit tricky to uh, get and the there we go. He admin for. five or, vassals. Sorry to interrupt. Nice. Go for it. Uh, or he yeah, is yeah. going to save him for the end and then release them as vassals. So he's sort of stocked up at least five vassals worth of storage, if that makes sense. Yeah. You see what I mean? So whilst Levick is ahead for now, in time, Flory's in, like, investment in his, uh, in his future, should we say, uh, means that he can release vassals and then do it from there. If that should work with the mechanic as far as I, I, uh, I know it. But if you want to flip to my POV directly, uh, remember what I was saying about efficiency? I want to, I want to show you something. Yeah. So we have three vassals here, and he's at war with two nations. That's peak efficiency mm -hmm. right there. That's yeah. lovely. That's exactly what we want to see. So he is well on the way to his third reform. Two stability, uh, has got the manpower he needs, uh, and I can't really see too much wrong. I'm going to call back to that Tlaxicala mistake, uh, that misclick we assume it is, uh, because in yeah, my yeah. opinion, we it can is the only thing he's done. Mistake. Mistake. <laughs> it was by mistake. <laughs> it was? Okay. Yeah. Good. God. Uh, wouldn't have been us, mate. Classic. Yeah. Imagine but he's easy. literally done nothing else wrong that I can see. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I've, I've, and trust me, I've got a notepad and paper out right now trying to think about what I could criticize. There's there's nothing. It's a different strategy you to know, uh, the uh, one that Flory, Flory we got to flip over immediately because he has, he has just passed his second and third reform as well. Interesting. So yeah, he's released Releasing them. the five vassals that he had, passing a reform, and then releasing five more vassals from the provinces that he owned and passing a third reform. So uh, at this point, Flory has just moved ahead. 58 Doom, yes, pretty bad, but that should go down with some events and stuff like that. Let's go to his POV directly so we can see what he's thinking. What is he hovering over? Yeah. Probably looking on nations to declare. And if I go into the truce map mode right here, I can see that he has truces with everyone except for... Uh, the nations he just declared on to his north nice uh to be clear yeah, as well you can reduce do you can reduce doom by um occupying provinces as well as winning battles so he should be able mm -hmm. to get that down without too much of an issue is he able out of curiosity obviously you can't you can't check now because he's at war um mm -hmm. is he able to how many is he able to release as of right now because i'm i'm looking at it and i think he can probably release uh, right now, he can release one, two confirmed, three. Yeah, right now, he can release three nations. Okay. Yep, one down right. there in the south and two up north in his uh, main part of the land. So, three. Okay. Because that does, that does, that's a very, that's a different strategy to the, to the one we're seeing over here on, mm -hmm, uh, on Zlevic. Mm -hmm. we, so we, we switch yep. on Zlevic fanboy now, right? Yeah, let's go to Zlovic's POV. Okay, directly. well, brilliant. Well, looking at the, the winner POV right here, we do see the oh. third uh, uh, and... Well, sorry, no, that's the fourth reform. He's got four. Four. Four? Four. Yeah. Really? He's got four and he took and he took territory. He's got four. Look at that. I'm pretty sure one, two, three, four. When did he do that? That's remarkable. Okay. Well, he's a lot quicker than I thought he was going to be. Amazing. What? That's baffling. All right, interesting. Hmm. Right. Well, that does mean, and he's taken territory to pres presumably touch more land. He yeah. does have a coalition against him of five nations, which he won't be able to separate peace, to be clear. Um, right. Well, he's on his way. He's on his way. I think we're going to see this well before 1460, as, as chat was predicting. I think yeah, 14. I agree. And the dates are so close, chat. Zlovic as April 1455. Oh, people right? are saying three. Hang on. Let me double check. Let me double check. Where, how many reforms does he have? Let's double check. Number of religious reforms. I think... Where's the grayed out one? Uh, That's one there. Are the pictures out? Ah, there you go. The pictures are white. There you go. Three. I was about ah, to say. There we go. So there he is go. at three. He is at three. I was three. like, Three. He is at three. I was about to... That was about to be the most incredible pace I've ever seen. Listen, if you're fired, I'm like blind. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at that. Look at the color of that and the color of that. Tell me they're not basically the same. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> Late haircut is affecting the vision. Right. I was hoping to go through the stream without reading things like that. I was I was robbed by my hairdresser. That's all I'll say. <laughs> no. True. I was the no, hairdresser. stop spamming L. No. I can't. I can't. My fragile ego. <laughs> oh. 
Let's go over to Flurry real quick. See that he is in two wars right now. These are four nations over here and another one. Uh, War of Aztec Aggression. Basically, no C being the nation of Huastec, which is uh, up here. I guess he couldn't reach them, but he has already, you know, sieged them down. And uh, they're the other, you know, Mayan nation, so to say. Uh, basically separated from the rest of the Mayan guys right here. But yeah, uh, right now Flory is at zero subjects. But of course, like I said, he can release three. And uh, potentially he can vassalize one, two, three more in this war right here. And that's another one right there. So he'll be at four. Maybe he can get all four of these guys. And uh, be at five just by simply ending these two wars. But Lath, Wait. forget about the wars, man. Up in, what is up in... a Prime Gaming subscription? Let me know. A Prime Gaming subscription. That's, uh, well, yeah. I'm glad you asked. I've been raring to tell you. A Prime Gaming subscription is something that you can use right now for free uh, to support the stream and get access to a bunch of special benefits. You don't have to pay a thing because if you have uh, Amazon Prime then and it's tied to your Twitch account, then you can click right now. So if you click underneath the stream, subscribe, then you can select get, like the uh, Prime Gaming sub and you can subscribe uh, for free. What does that do, though, Hawk? What, subscribing for free? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked. As uh, Daddy Eve gifts a couple of subs, five subs. Nice. Congratulations. And, and Carmax, Carmax 66, 66 subscribers of Prime. Prime viewing as well. Chaps, you are awesome. actively keeping us employed. <laughs> yeah. to, be, to be clear. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's oh, a good use of chat as voted that right I'm drunk. <laughs> well, apparently, I apparently I'm drunk, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, uh, going back to the Prime Just Gaming passing. subscription. <laughs> hey, it's Simba 2606, two, there we go. Boom. There we go. Lots of subs coming in. We even got a hype train going on. Who is the gift sub leader? Daddy Eve, that's what's up. And, and chat, subscribe subscribing himself. is so good, man. By subscribing, look at this, look at this. Not only do you keep us employed, not only do you help out the channel and make shows like this possible, not just Masters of Universalis either, Hoi4 shows, Vicky shows, you know, Crusader King shows, Stellaris shows. I want to see some City Skylines too, hint, hint. But uh, <laughs> you also get access to the VODs, right? When this is done, if you can't watch it live, no big deal. Boom, just load up Twitch, wherever you're at, on your phone, on your computer, on your TV, and you can watch this immediately after the stream is done. You won't have to wait for about a week for it to pop up on YouTube. Also, you, know little, you get access to special rumor, subscriber. What? There's a little, little, little rumor about about this, rumor? Uh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About this next yeah. uh, EU4 uh, project on Speed 5 that's uh, going to be, oh, really? you know, demonstrated know. to, or at least discussed with subscribers only in the subscriber oh, only stream. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, chat, if you're a super subscriber, secret. man, super secret, you can learn about the next EU4 show on, uh, on Speed 5. So, go ahead and smash that freaking sub button or use your Prime Gaming sub and uh, get all those amazing benefits for free. You already got the sub. They're going to say, well did, we also confirmed City Skylines later on this year. Nice. Well, there we go. You heard it here first, folks. I'm glad I was the one I could so, announce it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, of course, you have to like credit. Listen, if it goes well, of course, I should be thanked. If it doesn't, well, I'm not the one to blame. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out, people saying, like, um, uh, about me, like, how many subs do I have to gift um, to file eighth? And it's been pointed out that they already fired me. I just refused to leave. This is true. Oh. I just keep connecting. Yeah. <laughs> they don't, they don't know how to stop me. I keep driving production. He just keeps <laughs> coming back. Hawks always told him he's going to be know? soloing this next stream. Oh, man. <laughs> right. Well, let me uh, get us back into the game. If you want to flip, uh, well, you, if you flip to my POV directly, I'll take you through this war. We do see a war against. Oh, no. Against this nation down here to the south. Uh, I've brought up a menu I've never seen before. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was a thing, but I don't... How do I put it away? Wait, wait, wait. Is it the history thing? No, I, it's not. It, it's like the adventure. No. Chat help. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's the plus uh, thing. But oh, only... it's the plus thing. Or just to write ah, up the religious the log. Gotcha. Go. Thank you. Cheers, chat. Uh, okay. When did right, they add that? On. 
<laughs> I think it's been in the game the entire <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, We do see the vassalization over here. Uh, Zlevic seemingly slowing down slightly, uh, I think probably due to a lack of potential targets. As we can see, a lot of truce with people. I think with, with, he does have uh, two reforms left, not just one. So truce breaking at this time may be a little bit tricky, especially if he has not got the adequate admin uh, stacked up. Remember, he has to be at stability one to pass a reform and a... Uh, I mean, it's, isn't no CB? No, it's not going to be no CB. At the very least, he's going to be losing five stability each time. Not sustainable. So probably going to be seeing that on the final reform. But for right now, it looks like he's going to be forced to sit it out. This is where the little tendrils into Mayan territory could have been useful. But again, not going to criticize uh, Zlevic's strategy as it does have him in the lead right now. Meanwhile, Dark FV coming in with the five gifted subs. Appreciate that. Now we can officially fire Leith again. Let's hope he doesn't come <laughs> back this time. But Hey, also we're about to beat our last record. Nice. Look at that. I don't know that was a thing. We're, we're closing in on our own record. We're doing it. What record? And the grand finale. What record? The record for the amount of gifted subs and stuff. Oh, yeah? Soon. Well, Chad, yeah. let's see some more gifties. That. That's what's up. Dude, are they I mean, gifties? if the final isn't the most lit, what would be, right? Two titans of the EU4 online gaming community right here will flory be a back-to-back -back video game champion of the year masters of universalis or will slavic oh, take the big. crown from him and become the master of universalis in our third season right here chat what my do friend you think, if you don't man? mind was... switching over to my pov real quick just as this commander is, this faceless is comes in with the five gifted as well there we go Pog. and this is Chacha, thank you very much for subscribing to Tier 1. Chaps, we may have secured employment. Speed 5, hello. Hell yeah. <laughs> Are we employed? What's, what's Listen, going on? <laughs> I'm going to call Mr. Paradox right now. Dude, get him on the phone. Say I said hi. Uh, right, so I do want to point out he's at war with four different nations, has one vassal, so this could be quite big for him. Because that does mean he'll be able to vassals. get his next reform. Oh, really? Declaring what, what's the year another one. Yeah, let's go over to Flory real quick so I can point out the theory right here. Uh, so he does have four vassals right now fighting the nation of uh, Chichimeca right now. Obviously to vassalize them as well. But after this, obviously, he will pass a fourth reform. But more importantly, chat, can he release after this five more nations so they can immediately pass another reform? We see one over here in these provinces. Another one in these two. And there we go. We got a third one right there. And as he passes his reform, we got a fourth one right there. Actually, he you didn't. He needs stab. Let's he's, see. He's... No, and there we go, popping 50. out more nations. He's at four vassals right now. His doom has to be less than 50. Yeah. So he needs he needs to sacrifice but a he ruler does, or win he a war. He can wait a bit. You know, it will go down automatically. And I think once well, yeah, he uh, fights Cholula or Tlaxcala right here, He'll be able to do it. This is close, yeah. dude. This is close. Is, is he almost done with it? That's a massive... Yeah, he see. really stormed ahead there. Yep. There are the four reforms. And you're right. The pigeons do look like they're uh, done. Thank you. You were asking yeah. what the RBG uh, values are on the, on the pigeon. Dude, uh, he got the minus red. five, uh, minus yep. five uh, doom event. So chat, That's huge. Flory only fighting Tlaxcala right here. As soon as he's done with them, and he does have four That's more it. vassals already, he can do it. Let's go over to his POV directly. And we got to note down the date right here because I do think this is going to be a very, very good run right here. Less than 15 years, possibly. As long as his Doom is below 50, and as long as he has Stab, which he does, he is at, pl he is at plus one. And there's the Siege of Tlaxcala. There it is. Vassal, boom, right there. He is at five vassals right now. And... Boom, there we go. August 31st, 1457, ladies and gentlemen. Flory wow. has passed all of his reforms. Excellent. And if if you can go ahead and note that down in case he decides to go for one more. But uh, with 17 uh, minutes August, on the clock, well, sorry? I doubt it. August 31st, 1457. Very good. About uh, 13 years into the game not even that's, 13 that's, that's 12 that's years incredible. and uh for context 10 months if you want to flip over to my pov um zlevic is chasing his third reform and it's 1458. oof 
Let's get some that oofs in the chat. Hell of a chat. Run. Let's get some Roblox oof sounds in the chat. Wow. Because Slavik has already surpassed Flory's date, but he doesn't know. <laughs> he lacks knowledge. Wait, so Flory's <laughs> Flory's Flory's PB apparently is 1458. So he beat his PB. That's Flory the, beating oof. his personal best, chat. Flory That's insane. Personal best. One of the finest uh, demonstrations of Aztec gameplay that we've ever witnessed live on the Speed 5. I have official. a question uh, uh, for, I guess, everyone. You, chat, production. Do we... There's 16 minutes left. Do we tell yeah. Zlevik that his run is, is done? Like, there, it's impossible for him to win with this run so yeah. that he can get True, another run impossible. in and blitz it. Well, I feel like this is a more otherwise, question uh, for production. Right. That's what I'm asking. So we'll see. We'll see if you wanna if you wanna get in Discord and I'll regale them with the tale of Zlevik. Um, yeah, for sure. And so we'll see. So you, you no, let him cook. Let him play. No one wants people just want to. People want to let him. Let him. Uh, people said let him cook. I want to get a pole job. <laughs> let him cook. Oh, that is harsh. Look at him. Look at his face, chat. You don't want to tell him his efforts. Come on. Either way, we do see that Zlevik towards the end did start to take territory, but I think that was the decider between Flory and, uh, and Zlevik. Was Flory decided to go for the heavy land route, uh, building up a power base, which does mean that he has more resources <laughs> to work with in order to combat others, and from there is also able to release vassals for that final reform quite easily. <laughs> so. Dr. Ernstein says one of the reformers better be inventing a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving that uh, yeah. myself one sec. Uh, you can go ahead and give that man a sub while I go ahead and let Zloic know that we are uh, done here. And you can uh, go ahead and pause for him. Because, um, sure, well, well... You gotta let me his name, bro. What's his name? Mr. Ernstein? Dr. Ernstein, something like that. But yeah, chat. Zloic, of course, even with a restart, he will be unable to, you know complete this run he won't be able to get a better time than uh flory because he has already surpassed flory's time while having fewer reforms and as i go back to flory right here we can once again note the date august 31st 1457 all five trying to nahuatl reforms have been passed as hydro junior gifts some more subs thank you very much so yeah uh, I think we're gonna be calling it right there, chat. As we go over to Zlevik, I mean, we'll, we'll tell well. him because Zlevik can always Zlevik can always uh, like restart here. Um, and and try and put another run on the board. Uh, I just have to play super fast. Uh, I'm trying to yeah. communicate with him, but but it's it's not working. It's not working. He seems to be continuing no. to play. Maybe you can let him. Maybe you can shoot him an in-game message by clicking in the chat have. in the bottom left. You have? Yeah. Okay. I think I've, I think I've signaled to him. Um. Let's see. Let me tell him. Uh. Flory. Okay. Uh. Right. You can, they can hear us now. Okay. So Zlevik, it's up to you if you want to restart. Flory's already achieved it in fourteen uh, fifty-seven. If you want to restart, there is uh, currently around just over 15 minutes on the clock if you want to get a, a, another quick run in obviously for right now this run is impossible for you to win so that is entirely your choice my friend what do you want to do and if you want to let us know uh, in the discord you have to write to me write to me in the discord my friend write to me in the discord and we'll let you know uh, then you let us know if you want to if you want to have a, a lightning fast attempt at doing it quicker than 1457. it just seems a bit cruel to or you can just do five in your own time. You, you can, but I mean, yeah, if you want to keep playing, man, you, you keep playing, but you can't, you, you can't, you can't win. Okay. I mean, hey, he, he wants to, he wants to continue. As Lewick wants to keep going, that's the true face of a champion right there, ladies there and gentlemen. Go. Nice. Not giving up in the face of, you know, desperation and stuff like that. Of course, he does maybe want to set his personal best. Maybe, you know, what he's done is like a 1461 or something. Maybe he thinks he can beat it. But uh, that's a, there's a lesson for you all right there, chat. There's a lesson for you all right there, you know. you you Sometimes you got to keep going, man. Even when everything is futile and when you know you're going to take some L's. 
you know, you got to keep going. Lath does that every day, man. He starts up a game of U4 knowing he's going to suck, but he's like, dude, I got to do this, so man. I got to do this. So <laughs> unnecessary. Well, where's that coming from? What's this about? All right, well, we've got Walsy. Do you want to go to, to, to Slavic's POV directly so we can see me finish yeah. up? As you and I, we're going to have a, a sit-down chat, you and me right now, mate. We're going to have a nice sit-down chat about what, you, what problem you've got with me. Is it because I turned up the spot from five? Is that it? I got to go get some hmm? water. All right, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, okay, just abandoning me. Yeah, no, you go for it. I'll answer this. You enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Uh, no, by all means. Maybe you trip on the way back and don't turn up again. That's fine. I'll carry this. That's hey, all good. What's up with that? What's up with that? Listen, I broke a glass. <laughs> hey, just you, you, the... turn you turn this. You turn this hostile. I, this is ugly. All right, we're gonna air this out, you and me, in front of everyone. Two thousand people are gonna listen to us air our dirty laundry. All right. All right. I accept your apology. There was not an apology in that. But we do well, see Momo yeah. David subscribing yeah. at tier one. Right, can we get a poll going saying who's at fault here? Who's more hostile, Red Hawk or Lay? Because honestly, the quite frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm just getting bullied at the workplace. I get fired and I graciously decide to turn up anyway. You know, because I, I know they don't mean it, you know. Uh, they, they're always saying, ah, Lay, why are you here? But I know, you know, that, 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 that they're just joking around. They're just a bunch of killers over here. <laughs> you know, you're both just terrible. Oh, thanks, Alter Hill. It's a uh, strong one coming from Hill, a guy who went way. bankrupt in the final last time. Anyway. <laughs> oh, no, Alter Hill <laughs> catching streams. Right listen, listen, let's focus I'll on the game a little bit, all right? Let's focus on the game a little bit. Who is Levick right, fighting? Fine. Right? Who is Levick fighting? right now is fighting Slapanek and Atomi. He has passed the fourth reform. I reckon we'll see him do this within two years as he starts yeah. to wind down Slacking this run. It's still... To be clear, this is still an impressive run. As far as I'm aware, he still would have beaten oh, yeah. the last... Um, <laughs> That's a very good run right uh, there, the actually, last guys, Chad. The, Don't uh, think that Blavis. just because, yeah. you know, Flory did it in 1457, that this is a bad run from uh, Zlewik. No, this is actually really, really good and really, really fast. And uh, I think, you know, if uh, this was Zlewik versus some of our other competitors, you know, the guys that have, uh, you know, finished second, third, fourth place, he, he probably would have taken this away, honestly. An extremely, extremely oh, yeah, good absolutely. Right I think he, he did No beat mistakes the by Slavic, by the way, except for uh, him giving back the fort in Tlaxcala. That was his only mistake. But, you know, I, well, I don't think that... So I've been intrigued to hear what Zlevik's PB would be. Because maybe yeah, this is just yeah. uh, an unfortunate run for him. Because there is RNG involved in terms of the uh, alliances mm -hmm. um, and those sorts of chains. So maybe uh, this run is, is just an unfortunate one that he's had to live with. Um, as we do yeah. see nine minutes left on the clock. And and the fat yeah. unicorn boy has uh, subscribed with Prime. Uh, so many also, primes I've been today. voted more hostile. Oh well, all the options were late. Okay, cool, <laughs> great. It's, cheers, production. Nah, <laughs> you see what I have to do with chat. You see, you see this, yeah. you see this work environment. <laughs> like to change Listen, his name. That's that, that's coming from the Speed Five official bar. Twitch. The Speed Five <laughs> official Twitch said Lace should change his name. This is. <laughs> Listen, uh... oh, I love this job, man. All right. So we do see him at war with Lapnik, Atomi, and also another war against. Oh, why are these guys? How many back? vassals is he uh, at right now? I think he's at one. No, none. He's at none. So he'll be looking to pick up three here, which should put him close enough uh, to then get him over the finish line. Potentially, again, the difference is he was he's not able to release uh, anyone. Uh, there were no full relaxations that not took even place. In those he did provinces? reduce people to one plus minus. Nope, they're all still. He only took one or two uh -huh, provinces. From uh -huh. you. Yeah. Um, and that's I think the difference in in strategy here. Uh, like I said, I firstly, my 82, thank you for subscribing Prime. I, I don't fault Zlevik's uh, ability here at all. I think the difference in strategy is what made the day here uh, for Flory. Um, and you also, you, yeah, absolutely. I think also it's worth noting that our competitors had 24 hours to prep five challenges, uh, which yeah, is yeah. Right, quite frankly ridiculous. You know, so the we stakes are high, Chad. Hear... It is the finals. You may think absolutely. it's unfair or whatever, but uh, well... You just got to tell these boys playing, suck it up. You know, five challenges, do it. <laughs> get get it them done. ready. I messed around yeah, with all of them as well to see what I was doing. Oh, did um, you? The, yeah, just just playing, just just seeing what kind of strategy. Because, you know, I, I'm sick of like, turning up and then not having any idea. That's why I, I kind wait, of understood wait, wait. what Flory was doing. Lath playing for fun? Question mark? No, it wasn't <laughs> for fun. It was for the job. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it was for work. All never right, played right. for fun. Whew. I thought you almost played for fun, right fun there. Oh, my God. It's about victory. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's about losing the winning the mentality. The Ottomans, chat. 
<laughs> shout out to that one guy at PDX Con who I Once still again, love that. Shout lines out to that one guy, man. He had early access to the lines of the North lines DLC. <laughs> He was unreleased at the time he sat down and played Biz and lost the Ultimates. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. We were all there. And Chet, maybe right. at the next PDX Con, you can be there too. Get your tickets whenever they're available. You're welcome. <laughs> nice. Playing PDX Con. All right. We do yeah. see uh, this. these three vassals. Now he's gonna. he's got two more left on the, on the clock. Bear in mind, Chat as well, this was Flory's choice. This was his first choice. This was the uh, the challenge that he thought he was best at. This was his, uh, his his dominant performance that he was going to put on the board. Yeah, Zlevik yeah, now, without revealing his challenge, knows that he goes into the next one mm -hmm, with an mm -hmm. advantage. He gets to pick what they do, and I'm liking yeah. the fact that he said Oirat. What do you think he's going to pick, chat? Go on, which challenge? Personally, I think... it. Okay, so the, the two that I think are potentially there, and it'd be wild if, if this is the case, but the HRE one and the mm -hmm. Big Blue Blob one. Because Big Blue Blob says mm -hmm. as France, right? So technically, you don't have to start as France. True. Right? It says as... Oh, wait, no, Pride of the Dimmy. As the Sunni nation... But we're at Sir Olaf of, uh, Tengri? Yeah, but it says as a Sunni nation. It doesn't say starting as a Sunni nation. It says as a Sunni nation. True. That would be a good pick, honestly. But yeah, Chad, of course, you know, yeah. this, like Lay said, this was a dominant performance by Flory. But it was a challenge that he picked. It was his pick. Mm -hmm. So now, honestly, I'm expecting for the next challenge that we have coming up right now, just in a couple of minutes, the challenge that Zlewik picks, I'm expecting to see a dominant performance by Zlewik here. Honestly, I think everyone wants to see that, you know, 1-1 one, one after the first two rounds and uh, we go into a final tiebreaker right there. Everything on the line, you know, the Masters of Universalis title, will Flory retain it or will Zlewik snatch the crown away from him and become the Season 3 Masters of Universalis oh, duels, beautiful. by the way, champion? I will want to point out as well that uh, the... A HRE one I thought was as quickly as possible. I'm incorrect. It's as a non HRE state with a smaller state as possible, so lowest dev. So I've taken mm -hmm. another L today. I mm -hmm. do apologize, mm -hmm. chat. Well, I think I'd be used to it by now. Does Oirat even count as Sunni? Well, the wording of the challenge says as Sunni, so then you can start as a non Sunni nation and then flip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the only ones you have to start as is the Aztec one. And, and again, the it depends one, on specific where you've got to word. start as a Latin the trade nation. Latin starting nation. Now, what's the starting yeah. nation for this one? Part of the Dimi says, as a Sunni nation, you gather as many separate religions as possible. And the HRE one is dismantled the HRE as a non HRE state with a smaller state as possible. There were some questions about whether or not you could start in the HRE and leave, for example, which I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was as a non HRE state at the point of um, yeah. it, it being yeah. dismantled. So I think that's okay. We might see some, I mean, well, some wild says... Austria strats. When you're making yeah. Masters of Universalis a battle royale. Now, that's a good point right there, Zev. That's something I want to see, too. You know, wink, wink. That would be uh, very interesting, I think. Battle royale. Well, I mean, I, I've, done a, I've done a couple of battle royale videos where, like... What are the rules can, for yeah. that as someone that's experienced? Well, we had, like, a... We had a custom mod, which would um, mean that uh, you're always at war with the people bordering you. And you instantly mm -hmm. win, like... If you win a siege, it instantly flips to you unless it's protected by a fort. And then if you win a fort, it flips everything else over. So yeah, you can technically do a battle royale. I've done mm -hmm. a few of those. It's good fun. What's the score? Nil nil. But well, it's it is going to be one nil at the end of this channel um, as Zlevik starts to wind down here. He's at war with these two How individuals. He just needs these two. Uh, I believe is it three, and then he just mm -hmm. needs these two. Now he's going for speed five, gunning it to try and put points on the board. He needs the siege to be finished, and then after that he can put his uh, hand off his mouse and then claim well his own little victory here yeah. against the challenge but he does have two minutes and 40 seconds to do it roughly Let's see if he's able to do it Laurie talked to the h what there were, there were things there were there were things said in the discord uh so don't worry our challenges are aware as we do see the final reform is about to take place i believe there we go 24th september 1465 a, a very good score years. indeed after uh, Flory completed his run. But once again, a really, really nice score on the board right there uh, by Zlewik. Unfortunately, you know, due to varying factors, was it RNG? Was it that mistake by giving up the fort right there in uh, Tlaxcala? Uh, I'll be intrigued to Zlewik hear his was unable to put on a better time than Flory. And with that, 
you know, we can call this a wraps and we can get some claps in the chat for Flory. A winner of the first challenge, the challenge that he picked. And right now, chat, the score is 1, Flory Worry, 0, Zlevik. And with that, we can uh, go ahead and call it. Whew, Very, good right, so a, uh, Very good run. Very good run. A pretty good start from Flory, it has to be said. Uh, for sure, but again, for sure. it was his uh, his challenge of choice, and I'm very excited to see what uh, Zlevic does for his one, and then we may have yeah, to go yeah. to a final round. Yeah, not a challenge Who I expected to see, happens. but super fun nonetheless. No, yeah, yeah, very impressive by Flory. Like I said, I'd be super intrigued to hear um, about Zlevic's PB, whether or not that was a run that uh, went according to plan, whether the strategies yeah. were just uh, that vastly different. Because again, sometimes you can only implement. Um, you can do everything perfectly, but if your strategy uh, isn't there or someone else has a better strategy, uh, you know, it, sure. it results in a loss. Yeah, definitely. Let's see what our hosts have to say about this along with the players. What do our hosts have to say about this, Lady Magnus? I mean, that was an impressive run by Flory because, I mean, that was even like a personal best for him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was the best that he's ever done with something like that. So, I mean, that's not... Shocking. No, Flory. and it, it's you know, and that's great for him too. That that was that was one of is, his personal bests. This is when you want to bring out your personal bests, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, and being able to do it when it matters, even even though uh, this plaque is, I mean, it's lovely, it's amazingly well designed, and all of that. But at the end of the day, this is mainly for bragging rights. Yes. Um, but you know, being being able to do that while there's some pressure. And playing over Parsec and all of that is uh, a is little super bit of desyncing going on over there too. <laughs> super but uh, let's go ahead. Let's bring in the players. Yes. Congratulate Flory and see uh, what happened. Hello, congratulations, Flory. Thank you. <laughs> Very so, impressive. Tell me showing. what kind of cheese did you uh, uh, turn on during the desync? <laughs> uh, I I rolled my first general right, and it it, it set between three and seven pips. And he had three siege. I got hmm. ridiculous RNG things. Okay, so I we're, don't we're... even know. Even though that's your personal best, Lori, you had some bad RNG, huh? No, I had amazing. It yeah, was amazing. Oh, okay, okay. It was bizarre. Okay. I thought you were the trying to say thing... you had bad. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the only thing that matters in in a challenge like this is like siege speed, and so I I got exactly what I wanted. It was ridiculous. Okay. That is really amazing. Good. Slavic, so you knew what with, I think it was like 15-ish minutes left that you were not going to win. But you continued on um, anyway, so mad respect for that. But also, was it, were you trying to go for a for a personal best? Or you just, you wanted to finish and get all five? Well, that was one of the challenges that I only practiced once. Mm. Uh, okay. So I didn't, did not want to flirt, do me dirty again and not, not let me finish the challenge. Okay. I just wanted to get okay. all of the reforms uh, in time because I knew I could do this. That makes sense. That's fair. That's valid. Uh, so uh, that means, of course, after uh, one game done, uh, it's one game up for Flurry. But that was, Flurry, that was your pick. And it was the pick that Slavik had practiced once. Now, Slavik. You uh, you hinted uh, before we went into uh, the first game about what uh, this uh, your pick might be. Uh, we're not sure if you lied yet or not. Uh, what's the next challenge we're playing? Uh, so I'm 50-50% between the Dimi challenge and... 